Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from the month of um, October. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's November. First of all, I am so sorry for getting this up so incredibly late, but I've been so busy. So short answer is I am a senior in college and this is my last, um, I have about five days left of my associates. Um, degree so I'm just kind of trying to buckle down and just get stuff done so I apologize I've been away for so long but I wanted to share with you guys these products that I've been loving for the past month um, yeah so some of them are new ish some of them are ones you've seen before but let's go ahead and just jump into it so the first thing I've been loving is my Becca backlight priming filter I have used the heck out of this however I got this at um, when Ulta was doing one of their beauty steals and so I got this for like 19 bucks. It's normally $38. So I probably won't be purchasing this again. I'm currently looking for a face primer um, that's maybe drugstore. Um, so if you have any recommendations, um, please go ahead and leave your comments down below. I would love to hear um, any recommend recommendations that you may have um, but nevertheless I love this primer um, it gives your skin a glow without it being greasy especially somebody with oily skin like me um, I was always afraid of that illuminating factor in foundations and primers and whatever because I didn't want it to make my skin look more of a grease like than it already is let's be real but um it doesn't and i just i the foundation that so i've much. been using pretty much the entire month is the uh, covergirl true blend matte made um, foundation i'm in the shade m30 i'm wearing this today i really really have been enjoying this this uh stays so it claims that it has a 12 hour wear time my days are between anywhere between 14 and sometimes 20 hours and this stays all day i usually have to touch up at least once but other than that most days i don't i have no time to touch up most days and it still looks decent by the end of the day yeah it's a little bit oily on the t-zone but honestly it still looks decent so i'm happy um this is a really, really great foundation. If you have oily skin, I think you would really, really enjoy this. Um, I use one pump of it. Um, I do feel like it's full coverage, um, maybe medium coverage, but nevertheless, eye primer. It's awesome. uh, I'm working through my last sample of the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer. Um, again, you guys know I love this. I just I don't want to spend the twenty one dollars to get the full size so I will be moving on to the Milani eyeshadow primer once um, this is done so but nevertheless great primer nothing against it I just don't want to pay the full price for eyebrow gel. full size y'all know that I have some unruly eyebrows so uh, I have been there's hair all over it um the NYX control freak brow gel I freaking love this it's six bucks at Ulta I just, I love this so much. So I highly, highly suggest if you have unruly brows to pick this up because you will love this. I just, under eye concealer, awesome. I'm wearing this today. It is the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. Uh, I'm in the shade number two. I have made quite a dent in this, um, I do have to say. I just, I really have been enjoying it, especially over this past month. I have really not gotten a lot of sleep so this has kind of been a lifesaver for me um, but yeah it's it's awesome and then to go along with that um, as a setting powder I've been using the Too Faced uh, It's Bananas setting powder banana cream um, the product looks like this I really have been enjoying this um, it's it's a great powder um, is it something that everybody needs to have Probably not, but it's nevertheless, it's, it's a really, it's a, it's a, for it's eyes, a powder. um, I have been loving the, uh, Revolution, 
the Emily Edit the Wants palette. I have it on my eyes today. I did it. Uh, I did a get ready with me with this palette. Um, I just love this. Here is a look at it if you haven't seen it yet. Oh, you guys, I have just been adoring this palette. You can probably kind of see the shades that I cater to. <laughs> um, this past weekend, I wore um, the same look two days in a row because I just loved it so much. Um, so yeah, I used, uh, let's see, that day I think I used Top Story all over the lid and then I think I used Capricorn um, on the outer edge and then I want to say I used it was either apartment or pie fi um, so either pie fi or apartment that I used um, in the crease oh my gosh I just love 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 this palette so this has been a staple for me um, this past month for just blush, my I actually went back to this um, little palette thing here it's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. Um, I will try to find it down below for you guys. Um, this was limited edition, uh, I want to say a couple years ago. It used to be on Beautylish, but um, I will try and find it down uh, and link it down below for you guys. Um, but the, let me take this. But, um, the blush that I've been using and the one that I'm wearing today actually is this one right here. It is called Posh. It is such a pretty understated blush. Um, I've just really been enjoying it. It reminds me a lot of the Milani um, Rose Powder Blush in um, Romantic Rose. So um, kind of same color scheme and everything. So been loving using that. Um, just be my $1 so eyelash curler from e.l.f. Thank you very much. Love it. Uh, and then for um, my Oliver setting powder, um, I've been using the uh, Estee Lauder Lucidity Translucent Press Powder. Um, I'm in, let's see, number three, medium. Um, now, I've talked about this before. They have changed the name of this product. I have no clue why, um, but I will go ahead and link, link, link link um where you can get this um down below for you guys so please make sure you check the description box um for all the the details for these products but this has been my favorite setting powder ever it's awesome i freaking love this um i think this may be one of the reasons why my mascara lasts so long um i have this on today the uh l'oreal voluminous lash paradise amazing this is my fourth tube, I believe. Um, love this. Setting spray. So um, can you believe I, I'm almost out of this and I'm, I'm sad. Uh, the Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. You can see I'm down to the wire. Um, this is amazing. Um, I am most definitely going to pick this up again. I love this. I actually don't have a lip product favorite this month. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.